Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're down at your call this evening for the JD Next Gen Show with me, Dean White. Dean, Hi. thank you very much for joining us. No, no, thanks. Thank, thank you guys, man, as always. Now, let's start earlier in the evening. We saw Dwayne Sinclair um, suffer quite a surprising loss yeah. at the hands of Anthony Fox. Um, I think it was 79-73 on the cards over the eight rounds. Dis devastating for him. First loss in the professional ranks. What do you think of the fight? Do you know what? He seemed a bit flat. You know, um, maybe the occasion got to him, maybe, maybe I don't know, if cutting weight got to him. I'm not sure what it was, but even he came back and when he spoke to me at ringside there and he said he seemed a bit flat. Um, but you know what, let's not take no credit away from Fox. He's, he's been on a good winning run. And you know what, a lot of people were saying it before, listen, he's no, he's no mug. He might have had a few losses, but he's on a, he's on a, he's on a, he's on a come up, you know. So credit to him, he got the win. Uh, Dwayne's got to go back to the drawing board, you know. Um, unfortunately, come up short tonight. But that's boxing. You get there's, there's no hiding place in that ring. You'll get caught out if, if you're not if you're not if you're not up for the task. You know. Elsewhere in the light heavyweight division, it's been a busy night for the light heavyweights. We've even got a couple ringside. Uh, Craig Richards got the unanimous decision unanimous decision victory, I should say, yeah. over Andre Sterling. Uh, and what was it took a, it took a while for the fight to get going. Yeah. When it did, uh, Richards hurt Sterling on a couple of occasions. A couple of occasions yeah. I think suggestion is the cards were perhaps a bit too unfair on Sterling, but do you think the right man won? The right man won. Listen, Sterling is a young guy, he was undefeated, he came with purpose, he had a desire, and you knew it. You could see the passion in, him, in his eyes, but what I'd say, he started way too fast. I don't know if he thought it was like uh, he was going to catch him early and blow him out, but he, he started like a tornado, you know, and that's what his undoing was. And I said it at ringside, I said he's going to slow down, he's going to get caught with shots, he's going to slow down. But you know what? Credit to Craig, uh, Craig as well. You know, he, he, he stuck in there, he got hit with some big shots and he took them, he's got a good chin, you know, he took the shots or Sterling can't really punch. One of the two, I don't know. But listen, Sterling kept coming forward all night and Craig was boxing really good, caught him a few shots. I think in there, Craig could have got the stoppage if he was a bit more savvy in there. I don't know if maybe fatigue set in and he was just looking for the one big shot and kept jumping into the jab. I think if he double jabbed and threw the right, even if he bent, he could have chopped the right down. I think he would have caught him. It was there all night, double jab. He was popping his head back with the jab all night. And I mean, listen, looking at ringside, it's always easy talking about stuff, but listen, jab to the body, jab to the head. I think it was just there because he seemed to, um, you know, be popping his head back a lot with the jab. Uh, but like I said, Sterling, credit to him, he was a game opponent, kept coming, kept pressing. Um, I think he ran out of ideas as well and started to get busted up a bit. And then um, he should have got him out of there when he had him um, hurt in that round. But yet again, I don't know what it was. He should have went to the body because he was heaving like a mother. You know what I mean? And I think he should have fainted upstairs, went to the body and then came back upstairs. He might have got him out of there. But listen, it's all good talking. He managed to get the win and it's a good win because there was a mad rivalry. They're both from the same area. Uh, you could see the crowd. It was so excited. Uh, the adrenaline in the atmosphere. Everyone was up for it. You know what I mean? They were citing Craig, Craig, Craig. Um, but you know what? Craig moves on to fight another day but I think Craig you know he did show his levels in there but I think he could have got more of a decisive win personally because he's got the experience he's fought on a way bigger shows way bigger card and he's done these rounds a lot he hasn't done it this is his first time so he's got to give himself a pat on the back Sterling I'm intrigued to know what you thought of the altercation yesterday I was at the weigh-in uh, yeah. Andre Sterling and Josh Boazzi got into a bit of a we'll call it a heated debate a lot of people were saying it was disrespectful from Andre to be looking past Richards. I just wanted to know your thoughts on that situation. You know, I weren't there. I, mean, I, was, I was a bit busy yesterday, but um, I think it was. You know what I mean? You're fighting. You should have conserved your energy for today. You're talking about a man who is, what is he, British champion right now? You're not in the same category at the minute. You know, like you might have been talking about sparring, sparring, sparring. He could have been working on stuff, you know, sparring, and you caught him and whatever, and you buzzed him or whatever. That's sparring, you know what I mean? You, you know, you shouldn't really be talking about We know Boatsy's an Olympian. We know... He's gone to the trenches and fought better opponents. Sterling was over, maybe, you know, overlooking the situation. He, no, he thought he was a puncher. You could see the way he fought, well, how he was fighting, that he came in, he thought he was a puncher, and he thought he was going to blow uh, Craig out. But in this, in this kind of level, you know, like, you've got, you got to give these people their dues. You know what I mean? Until you go there and you defeat them, then you start talking. There's no point in talking about past feats like amateurs or talking about... Um, you know, sparring sessions. Watsi would eat that kid alive, to be honest. He's got more of a killing streak. I think that's what Craig lacked in there for me, the, the, the killer, the predator, because he had him hurt a couple of times, and I think he should have done him, but he didn't. You know what I mean? Craig Richards, as far as I'm aware, is now mandatory challenger at Josh Boatsy's British title. Is that a fight you're interested in seeing? I, you know, I think it's a... Listen, I think Craig should go his own way. You know, Watsi's an animal. He's a killer. 
Um, you know, Craig's got a nice boxing style, smooth. Sometimes I feel he doesn't throw, his, he doesn't open up enough, you know. Um, I think Craig should go his own way though and let Boatsy do his thing, fight again, let him maybe relinquish the belt and then him try and fight for the vacant title, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, let, let, let's see how it goes, man, you know what I mean? I personally, if I was managing him, I personally would look for a, a different way for him, you know what I mean? That's just me.